Hello, welcome to the video on solving two-step equations. This will be a lesson on this topic, and let's take a look at our objectives here. So the first thing I want to do is define a two-step equation, and then we're going to go ahead and learn the process to solve two-step equations. But before I get going, it's very, very important for me to stress the following, okay? Before you can learn how to solve two-step equations, you already need to have mastered how to solve one-step equations. So things like the following, okay, these are all examples of one-step equations. Say 2x equals 6, or maybe something like 1 third y equals 15, or x minus 9 equals negative 11. Okay, these are all examples of one-step equations. So if you know how to solve these, and uh, it's pretty easy for you to understand the inverse operations, then you'll be then you'll be fine with uh, two-step equations, okay? But if you're a little bit weak on these one-step equations, I really encourage you to pause this video or just stop it all together, go back and review, and then come back to uh, this lesson, okay? Two-step equations are pretty easy once you understand one-step equations. So, what are two-step equations? Well, it's very much what the name implies, okay? It's going to require two steps to get this solution, and these are some examples of uh, two-step equations. So it's like the game of hopscotch to get to the finish line. You got to take two steps, one and two, for example, to get to the very end. Same thing with two-step equations, okay? Not too difficult, but notice how we're building up to you know, having a complete mastery of solving these linear equations in algebra, okay? We start with one step, then we're going to add in two steps, and then eventually we're going to be looking at multi-step equations. So what is the process to solve two-step equations? It's actually pretty straightforward. Okay, The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use addition or subtraction to isolate the term. And what I'm talking about there is the variable term. So let me give you an example. Here's our two-step uh, two equations. This right here, the 2x is the term. Okay, It's the variable term. And in this particular example, one-third y would be the term. Okay, so once we use addition or subtraction to isolate that, kind of like if we were just solving for this part of the equation, um, the next thing we're going to do is actually solve the remaining basic equation. That's actually going to be a one-step equation, and we're going to use the multiplication and division inverse operation. So let me go ahead and just actually show it to you. I think this will make much more sense. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to solve these uh, two-step equations. First step is I'm going to use addition or subtraction to isolate the term. So our first problem, 2x minus 5 equals 7, I already said 2x is a term. So to isolate it, to get 2x by itself, I'm going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. Okay, I'm using that inverse operation concept. Okay, So it's kind of like I'm solving for 2x. So when I add down, Okay, just as we talked about um, the format when we're solving one-step equations, I'm going to get 2x plus nothing is 2x, and that's going to be equal to, or excuse me here, first we've got 2x plus nothing is 2x, negative 5 plus 5 is 0, so that goes away, and then I get 7 plus 5, and that's going to be 12, okay? So that was my first step, okay? I used addition or subtraction to isolate the term. In this case, I used addition.